Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel and in today's video we will be talking about lungs, anatomy and physiology with the short tips and tricks. Oh, lungs. Lungs is the one of the important topic of respiratory system in MBBS second year in TU. Here we are going to discuss about the lungs, anatomy and physiology. Both are equally important in the uh, university exam and even as an internal student exam. Now let us start. Here in uh, this topic, we have divided the lungs into five parts. That is, first one is covering of lungs, that is pleura. Second, external feature of lungs. Third one is our lobes of azygous vein. Fourth one is our mediastinal surface of lungs. And last one is root of lungs, but not least. Now we have to start with from first, that is our covering of lungs. Covering of lungs is known as a pleura, serous membranous lined by mesothelium. Its pleural sac is invaginated uh, from its medial side by the uh, by the lungs. So that it has two layer. That its outer layer is known as the parietal layer, and inner layer is known as the visceral or pulmonary layer. Now external feature of lungs. Here in the diagram we can see the trachea, right lungs, left lungs, upper lobe, lower lobe, oblique fissure, and then our horizontal fissure, medial lobe and lingula. So we can see it's a conical in shape. Okay. It consists of apex, it consists of apex, it consists of base, it consists of three, it consists of three border and two surface. Now at this apex, it's a project into the root of the neck and is covered by the cervical pleura. Now it is grouped entirely by the soft clavian artery. Now base, base is downward, that is related to diaphragm, that is related to diaphragm, concave due to upward convexity of diaphragm. Now coastal surface, related to the cross of diaphragm and intercostal spaces. Now medial surface, it contains hilum of the lungs. We can see the root portion. There's two surfaces that is the mediastinal surfaces and the vertebral surface. Now after we go into the third portion that is our lobe of lobe of azygous vein. Okay. The lobe of azygous vein also known as the Wiesberg. Part of upper part of upper and right lungs lying to medial to azygous vein form a azygous lobe. And simply azygous vein forms the azygous lobe. Now, mediastinal surface of lung. This is a separate question of the MBBS IOM. It is a most frequently frequently asked question. So, it is clear, figure is not clearly. So, you, you can go through the Google. Now, what content? What, what content is included in the right, left and right lungs? So first, we see the in left lung. Structure at left ventricle and left auricle. Okay, then after pulmonary trunk, then after pericardial impression, then after ascending aorta, then after arch of aorta, then after esophagus, then after uh, left common character and left subclavian artery, esophagus and thoracic duct, left brachiocephalic vein, a left vagus vein, and last one is fenric knob. You can see over here what contain in the right lung that are right atrium, right auricle. A small part of red left ventricle, pericardial impression, inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, arch of azygous vein, issue of vagus, uh, trachea and the right vagus knob, right brachiocephalic vein, and right phenric knob. Now, last one is root of lungs. Root of lungs consists of two parts: helium of lungs and root of lungs. Helium of lungs bare area of the mediastinal surface of the lungs through which the through which the structure enter or leave. That is the one path where the where the part of the which structure of the lungs are enter and leave. Now, root of lungs short bold. Pedi uh, pedicle which consists of all the structure that enter and comes out of the lungs through the helium. It, it is a pathway from helium where the other structure and part are entered. Now after we go through the physiology of lungs. Physiology of lungs includes the respiration. Respiration involves few muscles that is muscles of inspiration and the expiration. First muscle of inspiration it includes the main and accessory muscles. Main is diaphragm. Okay. And the accessory is 
sorry, uh, main is diaphragm and external intercostal muscles, whereas the accessory muscles are external mastoid, scalenous muscles, and serratus anterior, whereas the muscles of external expiration are internal intercostal muscles, serratus posterior, and rectus abdominis. Now, mechanism. Di mechanism of inspiration. Diaphragm contains over 75% change in the thoracic volume. In the quiet inspiration, the rest is contributed by the internal intercostal muscles. Now, accessory muscles are used in the forceful respiration. Okay. So, uh, now we can see our path. Stimulation of the phenric and uh, intercostal nerves is which uh, contracts the diaphragm and external intercostal muscles. Diaphragm increases the vertical diameter of the thoracic cavity, whereas external intercostal muscles increase the transverse diameter by the pocket handle movement like pulling and also increase the anterior, increase the anterior posterior diameter by the pump handle movement. I have already said like a, uh, a lifting something upward. Now this uh, now this is uh, this causes the expansion of thoracic cases. Thoracic case expansion increase the transpulmonary pressure. Uh, transpulmonary pressure in, uh, cause the lungs expand, which uh, which which uh, include the air moves inside the lungs. Uh, here we have completed the mechanism of inspiration. Now we go through the mechanism of expiration. No muscles is used in the, in quiet ex expiration muscles. Involvement are seen only in the forceful expiration. Sorry, uh, relaxation of diaphragm and the intercostal muscles. Contraction of thoracic cases, which decrease the transpulmonary pressure. When the pressure is decreases, the recoiling of lungs is started. After recoiling of lungs, lungs contracted. After contraction of lungs, air moves out of the lungs. In this way, we have completed our the anatomy and the physiology of lungs. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.